I'm here to tell you something about the Snenton Neighbourhood Forum and the Snenton Neighbourhood Plan. You may have seen one of our posters, received a letter from the council, or seen a news story in the local press. Maybe you came here to this video through Facebook or saw one of our updates on Twitter. Who knows, you might even have heard something through Snenton's brilliant network of neighbourhood gossip. But possibly, and even probably, this is the first thing you've heard about the forum and plan. If that's the case, you're particularly welcome. Let's get started. So neighbourhood planning is a new way for communities, that's us lot down here, to decide the future of places where they live and work. They will be able to choose where they want new homes, shops and offices to be built, to have their say on what those new buildings should look like and what infrastructure should be provided. They'll also be able to grant planning permission for new buildings that they want to see go ahead. The planning system helps to decide what gets built, where and when. It is essential for supporting economic growth, for improving people's quality of life and protecting the natural environment. If someone wants to build something, uh, like this very attractive castle, the planning system is there to decide whether it should go ahead or not. In theory, planning was always supposed to give local communities a say in decisions that affect them. But in practice, communities have often found it hard to have a meaningful say in what happens. The planning system is enforced through a series of local planning documents and policies which are legally enforceable. These can be very technical and hard to understand, so there is the team of planners working hard for the council to try and make sure that they are enforced. But developers, especially if they have money, lawyers and a big team of professionals behind them, can make their proposals very difficult to refuse, rather than being particularly good for the area. The local planning policies also fit with national level policies, such as the National Planning Policy Framework, so there is a lot of room for technical and legal arguments over development. If you look at it this way, the voice of the local community can become very, very quiet indeed. The experience of the planning system can be that as the local community, we are only really able to complain about things which other people have already decided to do. Neighbourhood planning is all about turning this around so that the community has a chance to say what they want to see in the area before the plans and proposals are produced. The neighbourhood plan can bring together and capture local people's ideas about things like uh, the environment, housing, urban spaces such as parks, streets and squares, providing places for the local community to meet. It relates also to how we get around, be that walking or cycling safely, or being able to drive and park easily without disturbing everyone or being dangerous. The key thing is that local people decide what goes into the neighbourhood plan, and those things are brought together in a way that makes them enforceable, with the same status as other documents within the planning system. This essentially gives us, the local people, a new and more positive way to have a say about what is planned for our area, as well as the traditional approach of being consulted and probably objecting about something that's already planned. Of course, the neighbourhood plan, if it's to sit up here alongside the other documents, has to be properly prepared and written so that it's legally enforceable, and it also has to comply with the high-level planning policies above it. A system of checks has to be in place to make sure that this can work. The first thing to do is to check that the group of people who want to prepare the plan are truly representative of the local community, including residents, businesses and community groups. If we lived in a small town or village, we would have an elected parish council who would be responsible for preparing the plan but we don't. Uh, we live in a city and there's no parish council, so we have to first create a neighbourhood forum to do the job. The first check, then, is for the council to approve the makeup of the forum to ensure that it's representative 
and make sure that the process is not taken over by a single interest group, commercial interests or a little group of friends. The neighbourhood forum can then work to produce the neighbourhood plan in the draft form and then there are a number of checks that it goes through after that stage. First of all, the draft plan goes to an independent assessor who checks that it's written correctly and complies with the, all the relevant rules. Once it gets through that stage, the plan goes on to a referendum, which means that local people get a chance to vote on whether to accept the plan or not. A simple majority is needed. 50% of those voting need to say yes. So once our locally made plan has the approval of the council approved forum, the independent assessor and the local community, it can move up to take its place alongside the other local planning guidance. In the future, when a developer comes along with a plan to build something, not only will they have to have thought about meeting the requirements of the existing planning policies, they will also have had to think about how they meet the requirements of local people set out in our neighbourhood plan. Of course, that doesn't mean that we can't still object to plans, because we still have exactly the same rights to be consulted as we do under the existing system. But it does mean that we are more likely to get plans coming forward to make changes that we like, because our requirements will have been taken into account during the design process. Thanks for watching this amateur production. I hope it's been helpful. You can find out more through our Facebook, our Twitter, or you can Google Snenton Neighbourhood Forum to find our website. I hope you choose to get involved because whatever happens with the plan, the forum will be a great way to bring together the whole of Snenton community so we can work together for a brighter future.